Another thing you can do is you can go through here. Let's add a fill layer. And this one we'll call height. And on this height layer, let's turn off everything except for our height channel. And in fact, on this height channel, I'm going to crank up that height. And it's not going to do anything because it's all over our mesh. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say right click, add a black mask. And now wherever I paint on here, on this mask here, or, you know, we want to play it safe. We want to go in here and say add a paint layer just in case we want to add something to this paint layer. So as we're painting on this paint layer and painting it white, if we want to see that, hold down Alt and Tap, and you're going to see wherever we paint is going to be white, and then hit M to go back to material mode. Uh, and if we want to crank up that height, we can just select this and crank up that height. And you don't have to use, you know, a paintbrush for this. You can go through here, you know, let's tap X. And let's zoom into this a little bit. And go through here and you know tap X and erase all this out and then tap X to go back to white. You can go through here and you can stamp. And you can also swap out your uh, brush alpha. So if I go down here, you can see the alpha is just round. So let's go in here to our alphas and choose, you know, let's choose this arrow simple. So I'm gonna tap that arrow simple. So now this alpha is applied, applied to this brush. I can hold down control and go left and right to change that size. And we just stamp uh, this right on our object here. And if you hold down control and click, left click, on your object, you can rotate it. So you can go through here, you can just go through and stamp hard surface details. You can start making it smaller as it goes down. And you can always go back up here to this height layer. And if you want to emboss it more, just crank it up, or you can actually punch it in. You know, you have a lot of control here. The only problem is as we're adding height to our object, it's not scratching the edges because right now Painter doesn't have any idea that we're adding height edges uh, details. However, we can clue Substance Painter in. So one thing we can do is we can go down to this paint mask here. And if we go to the mask editor and go all the way down to the very bottom, you're going to see there's a micro normal and a micro height. So if you click on micro height, you're going to see there's resources and you can change that. And there's also anchor points. And anchor points is grayed out. So it needs an anchor point to point to basically. Now, if we go back to our height mask, right click and say, add an anchor point and it's named height mask automatically. If you want to make this more recognizable, you can go in here and say scarab details or something like that. And then now if you go down here to this mask editor and go down here to micro height, it's still not going to have any anchor points. That's because the anchor has to be below. Think of it as, uh, you know, you throw an anchor overboard into the water and it splashes and goes to the bottom of the ocean. Your anchor has to be underneath anything you want to use it in. So we're going to take this height layer. And in fact, the height layer can go uh, at the very bottom of your stack if you want to. So let's click and drag this all the way down to the bottom. It still shows up as height, only now our scarab detail anchor is below the editor we want to use it in. So if you go in here to the mask editor now and say macro height, anchor points is available, and we can say scarab details. Now it still doesn't do anything. One thing we need to do in some of these is go up here and if you see micro details and micro height is set to false, set that to true. And now wherever you paint height, it's going to go ahead and scratch those edges. So now I'm going to go in here to the mask editor and say like we crank up that texture, crank up that global balance in here, global contrast. And then go back down here to micro details. You can say you can crank up that curvature intensity. And the more intense you make that, the less intense you make it, the more, less it's going to pick up that edge. The more intense you make that, the more it's going to pick up those height edges. And in fact, if we go over here back to our height layer and we take it from uh, embossed to kind of push in, go back here to the mask editor, you can see how that affects it now uh, with pushed in details as opposed to pushed out details. So it's up to you what you want that to look like. I'll go ahead and push those back out. Now, when we have our height information here and we have it, uh, you know, it's bumped out, the edge scratches is working fine, but if we had dirt in here or, you know, we can still stick with the scratches, we emboss these in here, um, it has no semblance of an AO. Of course, we can go all the way to the bottom, uh, go down here where it says material and go to the bottom and just turn on your aim and occlusion map. You're gonna see that height doesn't affect the AO. Now we've been playing around with like height and we'll go ahead and like emboss this up and edge scratching, but what about dirt? So uh, just like we mottled this paint here, and you know what, let's go back to that paint one, thinking about it. We're gonna go to this uh, mask editor here. And you know what, let's just simplify this. Let's just click out of all these. And on this black mask for our paint, we're just gonna add a generator and this is just going to be metal edge wear. And then we're going to invert that. 
crank up the wear level and again for it to show up on our embossed height detail we need to go down here for micro height choose our scarab details from our original height mask anchor point and then go back up here to micro details and say micro height is true and in here you can change you know again the curvature intensity and stuff like that now uh, above everything so dirt's going to go on top of everything I'm going to go over here we're going to go ahead and make a new fill layer we'll call this dirt and just like we did with the paint let's go ahead and model this dirt so it's not just like a plain flat dirt I'm going to right click this and we're going to say add a fill and on this fill we're going to go into grunge and we're going to narrow this down to dirt grunges here's a good dirt uh, grunge dirt thin drag that right on our base color and again we're just going to turn off everything uh, but color for this fill layer and then on top of this we're going to add a gradient or add a filter and in that filter choose gradient and again we're mapping the black value here to a different color we'll make this kind of a dirt brown color and then the other color here we'll do a sample just click and drag that eyedropper to that brown and then we'll modify this brown maybe make it a little more yellow a little less saturated a little brighter and then down here on this color again we'll sample that original brown and this one will make a little darker a little less saturated so we kind of break that out you can also go through here and change uh, this position if you want to kind of like a color two position you can add more of it or add less of it and then on top of all of this again add another filter go through here scroll down a bit until you get the HS HSL per septive and then now you can go through here and you can change the color of the dirt the set overall saturation of the dirt and the overall lightness of the dirt really quickly now again we just want the dirt to collect in dirt areas so we're going to right click this say add a black mask right click that and say add a generator and you could use a smart material for this we're just going to use a generator that has dirt on it now if i alt tap that dirt you're going to see this dirt isn't keeping or isn't taking into consideration any of our alpha or our height map it's just dialing in dirt really based on if we click on the dirt generator if we scroll down it's really basing all of its information on the curvature AO and world space normal however our AO doesn't know that we have height enabled so in order to get that to work we're going to scroll all the way down to our height layer we're going to right click this we're going to add a filter not to the mask this time we're going to add it to the actual layer itself right click add a filter in here scroll down until you see uh, max FX or mad FX HBAO go ahead and click that so now if we go up here to our dirt generator scroll all the way down to where it says micro height go to the anchor point grab your scarab details go underneath micro details say micro height to true and now it's going to find your micro height and you can go through here with your AO radius and start dialing in where that dirt's going to show up so let's hit M go back to our material and now you're going to see dirt's going to start accumulating around where we have height information. Now you can also change your curvature, curvature type. So you've set it to smooth, you'll get a, a slightly different effect here if you change it to Sobel or if you change it to standard. You can kind of dial those in and out as needed. But now, again, your dirt's going to start collecting around new generated height information. In fact, if you go back to this height channel, and we have a paint layer here. And let's go back to our alphas. Or you know what let's go um let's go down here to brush choose basic hard just to kind of reset it hold down control and right click to knock this down and then hold down shift you can just start painting in new height information and as i'm doing that it's adding that dirt accumulation on there now, of course you can always go back to your dirt change your ao radius so it's not so intense And then to go in here and change your like you know overall dirt level and if you don't like the color of the dirt go back to your dirt layer go to that hsl and dial in the color saturation maybe crank up that lightness a little bit there you go now you've got a dusty scarab with height detail added the height detail is picking up edge scratches and adding some ao so the dirt knows where to uh, end up